and welcome back to War Gear Reviews, another camera comparison video. This week it is the Equator XZ versus the Mate 20 Pro. I'm here at the Winter Wonderland in High Pass and uh, I'm going to be doing some low light photography to start off with and then we'll do some regular stuff tomorrow. Um, anyway, which one do you think is going to win? It's going to be a blind test, uh, so vote on which one you think is better. So let's take a look at the first photo shot on camera one of the front gate at Winter Wonderland Hyde Park London. And as you can see it looks pretty nice, it was pretty dark that day, but overall a pretty good picture. Now let's take a quick look at camera two. So as you can see the shades of orange around the woodwork is completely different here and the level of black in the picture is also different. But to really make your decision as to which one's better here, let's put them side by side. So as you can see here, side by side. As I mentioned before, the level of black in camera one is definitely darker than camera two, but is that a good or a bad thing? And the other significant difference here is the color of the blue around the arches in the background. In the left picture, it seems to be more of a turquoise color, whereas in the right picture, it's a deeper shade of blue. But there does seem to be some missing detail in camera one across those wooden beams at the top. But generally speaking, when you first saw these two pictures, which one of them looks better? Answer that by hitting the pole up in the top right corner. So this is a low light selfie picture taken on both cameras. And the first thing I notice here is in the left picture, it looks like I've got a bit of a suntan. And that's not a bad thing. And in the right picture, my skin seems a lot paler and a lot smoother. Both cameras did pretty well here considering how dark it was where I was standing. And I like both of these pictures. Which one do you think is better here? So here's a photo shot of the Euro coaster on camera one really colorful really bright colors there coming off the lights and a pretty dark background now the same picture on camera two and you can see in the background you can actually see some clouds up there in the sky and again a very vibrant picture but side by side is the ultimate test so there we go there's the two photos camera one definitely more luminous sort of colors going on there camera two has amazing detail and there's definitely a difference here between the way the cameras handle the light. Camera one may be slightly overexposed. If you look at the lights coming off the signs at the bottom of the picture and around the Euro coaster sign at the top, it's blowing out the whites just a little bit. But is that a good thing? Does it add a nice effect? Or do you prefer the image on the right hand side, which appears to be more detailed? Leave a little comment on that one. Now, as I was leaving the Winter Wonderland, I saw this statue of Achilles and I thought I'll take a little photo of it. And you can see on camera one, the brickwork there is very, very white. Good detail on the actual statue itself. And on the right hand side, you get a much more natural color brick around the statue and good detail as well on the statue itself. More details in the clouds on camera two, but quite a striking picture there on camera one. Which one do you like? So after that, I was on my way home and I took a picture of this London Underground sign here. And there's a massive difference between the two cameras here. On camera one, you can see the reds are really, really strong there. Once again, that backlight, that white light coming through the sign is slightly overexposed. Whereas on camera two, you're getting this really crisp picture. Both look good to me, completely different styles though. But the question is, which one do you like? Camera one or camera two? There's a pole up in that top right corner. So this comparison video is gonna take a bit of a different turn than my usual ones. And yes, I was at the airport, can you guess where I was going? But anyway, this picture shot on camera one, very, very nice. Good details up there in the cloud. It's not too overexposed. And you can see it's pretty horrible weather in London that day. And let's look at the same photo on camera two. A very, very bright picture. Really good detail, but I kind of feel like camera one looks a little bit better here. Let's have a look at them side by side. So when it comes to those colors up there in the sky, you're getting a lot more blues and a lot more shades in the clouds there and a bit more color on the plane itself. So looking at these two, which one's doing better here in broad daylight? So if you didn't guess, I'm in Hawaii and this is the rear camera stabilization test. Which one's doing better here as I walk across the sand? Let me know which one wins this one. So I don't know if you guys caught my vlog. This is the view from the Grand Suite at the Waldorf Astoria. And this one shot on camera one. And you can see there the orange lights really glowing up off the ground there at night. But then on camera two, it is almost like it's daytime. And really the difference between the two cameras here is night and day. Have a look at this. 
So a really massive difference between the two cameras here and I'm guessing you guys have already guessed which one's which. And if you have, answer that poll at the end of the video to see if you were right. So here's the same photo taken at daytime from the same balcony on the Grand Suite and you can see there on camera one there's a bit of a haze going on across the photo although it's very detailed and it's a nice picture definitely a bit washed out compared to camera two but what's interesting here is when we zoom in and have a look at the detail in the picture both are pretty close so there's a bunch of dolphins there around that fountain and when it comes to detail this is pretty evenly matched at a distance which was quite a surprise anyway let's move on to the next one so this was the color test that i did just to demonstrate how the cameras reproduce colors and you can see there at a glance i have to say camera one seems to be picking out better color but then on camera two you're getting that great detail again and you're getting a bit of that blurry background effect which adds a nice touch to the image but generally speaking this is a color test which camera wins this shootout so here's a selfie on the two cameras and on the left it actually looks like i've got a suntan again which is really nice and on the right I look really pale like I got a really bad hangover which I probably did have at that day to be honest but I have to say I think camera one wins this one what do you guys think now onto the camera focus test and all I was doing was basically moving the cameras close to this bag to see how much detail it picks up what's interesting here is there's kind of an orange tint on camera two whereas camera one seems to have pretty accurate colors both do a great job of picking up the detail there on the threads on the bag impressed with both cameras here so this was the last photo i took in hawaii as the sun was setting there and again two very different pictures you've kind of got this silhouette effect going on on camera one and on camera two you're getting a much brighter picture with a lot of greens in the foreground but this is one of those pictures if you posted both of these on instagram there's a good chance the camera one might actually win but which one do you guys like so anyway on to my next stop which will be another surprise for you guys Check it out. All right, so we've come a long way since Hyde Park, Winter Wonderland. We've been to Maui, Hawaii. And now, if you didn't guess, I'm actually in Canada, Vancouver to be more specific. And uh, I'll be honest with you, I'm really close to the airport here. There really isn't that much to take photos of, but I'll do my best to find some stuff for you guys. Which one's winning so far? Let me know in the poll up in the top right corner. So as I mentioned, I was kind of stuck in a hotel quite close to the airport. And I took this picture from my hotel room of the mountains there in the background. Not the most exciting picture in the world, but there's quite a lot of detail there. And if we look at the same one on camera two, very, very different picture, much brighter, good detail there again. And if we look at them side by side, you can see what I mean about the brightness. So this is definitely a tough one to pick, but I think people generally lean towards brighter, higher contrast photos. So I'm guessing a lot of you might pick camera two here, but to be honest, when it comes to the actual picture itself, both of them look pretty good in their own ways. So I took a wander down the streets and uh, I took this picture here again, not the most exciting picture in the world, but you can see a difference in the two cameras again. On camera one, you're getting this good detail on the street level, but when you look up at the sky on the left hand corner, slightly blown out there a little bit. And you can see on the right hand side on camera two, a really nice picture, good detail on the foreground and the background as well. And the last picture that I took was this one at the airport. There was like this kind of fountain with this weird statue at the end. I was just sitting down having a coffee. And uh, you can see there, both cameras doing a great job again. I feel like camera one is actually producing better colors here. And camera two is actually adding more brightness. So again, it's in the eye of the beholder. Which one do you like? Leave that in the comments below this video. So now it's time to reveal which camera is which. You guys probably guessed already, but let's have a look. Camera one, the Xperia XC3 from Sony. And number two, the Mate 20 Pro from Huawei. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this camera shootout from What Gear Reviews. Slightly different from my other ones, I know. And if you guys want to see any follow-up videos on either of these two phones, leave that in the comments below and I'll do my best to make those for you guys. And I just want to say a big thumbs up to all of you for watching this to the end. And if you just subscribed, that means you're now one of the finest subscribers known to man and I'll see you guys in the next one so don't be late.